The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who oh it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo... I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. And if agreement doesn't work, Change the agreement, create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 205, NASDAQ up 59, SPs up 26, gold contract down $4.60, trading at $14.79 an ounce. We get silver down 34 cents, $16.90 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.43, $58.53 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down 18 ticks, 129.14. The 30 year off a point, plus 11 ticks at 158.24. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 83 ticks, trading at 97.654. The Euro is at 110. The Yen is at 109.98.92. And the Pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Where do you go? We, we go over to the SPY. We take a look at this. You, the SPY, if we come back, if we go back to last week, what you're going to see, last Wednesday, it made a high out here in the SPY, 44 million shares. You come down Monday and Tuesday, we come down at 76 million Monday, and we come down with 75 million on Tuesday. Bottom line, you're going up with 32, maybe you get 40 million out here. That's a bounce on light volume. You very well could be setting up a small ABC structure on the way down. NDX 100, volume's even contracting more, so you don't have the buyers on this little bounce here. Uh, the Qs are up $1.27 right now. We came down Monday with 28 million shares, yesterday with uh, 31 million shares, and you're going up right now at 11.5. So, this, the NDX 100 is the one that uh, more than likely will basically lead us right back downtown again. Now let's go over to the SMHs because inside the NDX 100, the SMHs are a big mover. No two ways about that. SMHs, you know, Monday we came down with uh, 4.5 million. Yesterday it did 6.8. And look at this. 2.2 this, this, uh, on the way up. And what's going to get intriguing about the SMHs is that... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it closed it, but if it, if it closed at 130.95, that would be basically a test of the downdraft of Monday and a failure on price and failure on volume. Gold contract. What do we have inside inside the gold contract? Gold contract trading GCG. We are on. It's pretty wild, folks, bringing up these future markets because we're on 2020. So gold contract gets to a price point today of about 14.89. You back down to 1480, you get 300,000 contracts traded. Bottom line, you're building cars to get inside the uh, 1499 area. That 1499 area, that is the highs. Well, it's the higher range. That's what it is. The GDX, we go take a look at the GDX inside the GDX out here. Um, notice a nice setup. Okay, this is cool. They, they put some big volume in the GDX at the close yesterday. Uh, your swing point out here, I had uh, 33 million. You're going to another swing point with 79 million. And guess what? We did 81 million. Um, big number. Got into 27.93. You're backing down today with 24 million. More than likely, you got a small ABC structure on the way up. 
XAU, H-U-I. Let's go with the XAU first. XAU right now is uh, down 32 cents. What I really want to see out here, though, is we want to see what kind of volume that we had yesterday. And it's going to tell me that we had quite a bit of volume. It did huge. So the, the XAU is coming into 37 million, and we did 40 million. Bottom line, let me see if we broke it. 97.90. No, yeah, we, yeah, we did. 98.64. Uh, so you broke the consolidation you've been in since September. The bottom line, that's saying the XAU is going after its high, which is 102.29. Gold Bugs Index. We go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index down a buck right now. This had a monster day yesterday. You talk about wide price spread, and we'll get you the volume right now. There she is. Yeah, huge expansion of volume also. We did uh, 26 million shares. Uh, the swing point that we're going into is 24 million. Uh, didn't make the price yet. 226 on the HUI, it's 226.64. Still, that being said, this thing wants to get up to its highs. Now, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver. S-I-H. Silver's taking quite a whack out here today, man. Silver is so volatile, it's pretty amazing, actually. Down 33 cents, $16.91. Look at this, gave it up totally. Okay, this is going to be interesting, though. So, this is what we had. You had silver trade all the way up to 1741, gave it up in spades. You're at 1690. The, the lower range, uh, end of this range is 1676. That being said, folks, what does happen is that when you get to higher highs, you have an expansion of volume, you give it up in price, most times you're right back topside. When I say most times, you, it, I'm, I'm talking within two or three days. So we'll see how that shakes out. But silver, volatility, man, that volatility is in spades uh, in a huge way. Now, notes. Let's go over to the note market and take a look at the note market. Uh, note, as well as the bond market yesterday, had a monster day. Um, you get a pullback happening today, and we want to see how this is setting up. So yesterday, the 10-year right now, we're pulling back at 18 ticks. You've done 1.9 million contracts. Okay, yesterday we did 2.7 on the way up. So it's still good action. It's still good action. It's still saying that the notes, as well as the bonds, want higher price, lower yield. Let's go take a look at uh, the 30-year U.S. I forgot which one we're on. We're, th these are all in 2020 right now. <laughs> this is pretty wild, actually. So, you, U.S., come on, baby, get up here. U.S.H. Yeah, U.S.H., that's what it is, U.S.H. zero. So... We're down a buck ten, or one point ten ticks. You've done two hundred ninety-five thousand contracts, and yesterday, yeah, you go up at four thirty-one. Bottom line, stay still on higher price, lower yield. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom